Hi, welcome to the Oliver Fetter YouTube channel. Today, doing something a little different, we're gonna get this thing out of the way, and instead we're gonna focus on this today, uh, namely cleaning it. So put it together a little bit such that we don't get a ton of water inside of it, and then I'm going to put it on my van and bring it over to the car wash and try to blast all this, you know, 20 years of grime off the outside of the engine and then bring it back so I can begin doing some of my engine work on it. Namely, I have some brandy new, who cares about that junk? Brandy new rods uh, to put in it. So I have some max speeding H beam rods that I'm super stoked on uh, and those are gonna be going inside the TDI motor. But before I do anything like that, it is just far too dirty to work with, so cleaning day. Okay, now I got some room to play with. A few considerations, the head right now is not really on there. So, and there's no head gasket. So I think I'm gonna take the old head gasket and put it back in here and just tighten the head down by a couple points. Nothing crazy, but just on there. And then the valve cover is similarly just sitting here. I'm gonna tighten that down in a few corners. And then I'll probably pull, well, I'll probably leave these on. I think I'm just gonna plug my injector holes with paper towels and maybe do the same for the back. And then throw it on the back of my car and take it to the car wash. Okay, I now got all the important things plugged. We got the turbo oil feed. We got four injectors plugged. We got the breather hole plugged. We got four inlets and four exhaust ports plugged and the turbo oil drain port plugged and all the covers nicely affixed to the motor. We are ready to wash aside from the fact that we are nowhere near somewhere to wash. So. quite nicely that wasn't too difficult now everything's washed uh, I'm gonna get back on the crane we're gonna get back inside we're gonna put back on the engine stand and then I'm gonna take it back apart because I assume some water did get inside 
So we're gonna dump any water out and then I'm probably gonna leave the motor upside down with the head off and a tray under it and just let anything that needs to come out still come out. So later slash next week when I go to swap rods, we're just good to go. duty hold right now with Holly to figure out why my customers sniper EFI isn't working but for now motor is clean I sprayed everything down well everything being the pistons the cylinder walls and the cam with some PV blaster to help move away any water that might have collected from washing it and for now I'm gonna flip it back over after giving it a quick look and I'm gonna leave it upside down to kind of drain until I have time to put the rods in but for now we got a pretty nice clean motor uh that's ready to have some stuff swapped on it so thank you so much for watching appreciate you have a good day out there